Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to What Up Clay. This is the channel where we talk about all kinds of things, how to fix it, how to maintain it, how to build it. Uh, we also talk about product reviews. I like to do uh, long-term product reviews. To, this kind of helps give uh, all you an idea on how well they work out there in the real world or out there in the world period, the abuse they take, how long they last, and so on and so forth, and are any problems whatsoever during the duration of using them. Uh, today we're going to do a, a review on Bluetooth earpieces. Now, I've been using Bluetooth earpieces for about almost 15 years. I work in an industrial warehouse the industry and I, uh, I'm a manager, so I have to have my hands free a lot of time, walking around, driving, typing, so on and so forth, writing stuff down, taking notes, so on and so forth. I, I just have to have my hands free. Also, I don't like to sit there and have to walk around with my phone in my ear and, and hold it to my ear. And Anyhow. Um, what I do is I'll start off with the least expensive one. Now, first off, before I do that, these all these earpieces hook up to two advice two devices at once, um, both Android, iPhone doesn't matter. Um, I have both. I have one's my personal, one's my my company phone. They all hooked up, connected perfectly. They all paired perfectly to them. I haven't had any drop calls, no issues whatsoever. Um, I have had earpieces in the past that have had those issues. Um, they or they sound bad if they didn't work out right. wasn't what I expected. I used them for about a week, two weeks. If I wasn't convinced, I'd take them back and get a new one. No sense of keeping something that I don't like. So anyhow, uh, I'll start with the least expensive one first. As you can see, I have a little bit of a collection here. Uh, again, I've been using these for almost 15 years of course there's a lot more that I've had in the past that I don't have here but they found their way to the trash but <clears throat> so start off with the least expensive <clears throat> we'll start off with the Jabra Talk 35 or Talk 15s sorry now I like to use um, pieces that have the, the wrap around for the ear reason why is because I'm outside, sometimes driving around, whatever, it gets hot. And I start to sweat. And there's a lot of walking that goes on. So my ear sweats, and then uh, next thing you know, rubber here gets wet, things fall out of your ear, or that they'll be pointing like this in your ear, and then all of a sudden just, now they're pointing straight down, you gotta get it readjust again, and it just slips right back down again. Um, so, I like the ones that wrap around. I also like the ones that have I have a good distance that allows this to wrap around the ear and then it sets this piece right here a good distance in the ear so there's no there's minimal gap between the speaker and my ear channel um, this helps prevent sound from getting in and, and interfering with the sound that's coming from the microphone and canceling it out and so on and so forth but uh, that's how that's how I choose these and that's what I look for in, in, a, in a speaker also, being in the, in the industry, it's extremely loud. Anybody working in warehousing, especially refrigeration warehousing, stuff like that, you'll know the engine rooms are extremely loud. Even the warehouse itself is extremely loud with all the refrigeration systems and forklifts and machinery and so on and so forth. So, that being said, I needed something with, with good volume as well. The Jobber 15 um, met those needs at the time. These right here... Uh, I think they go for now. I think you still buy them now. I think they're still in the neighborhood about 40 or 50 bucks. Really good units. The only reason why uh, I ended up replacing them was because the microphone started going bad and the and the lifetime, the battery life started going bad. I have two because one of them lasted me about eight to ten months, and the other one lasted me, I think, eight months. <clears throat> so I just uh, ended up getting another one and. But uh, once that last one went bad, I decided to upgrade. So, but other than that, these are good. Again, got rid of because the microphone was starting going bad, starting to get uh, kind of scratchy, and uh, the battery life was bad. So, that's that one. Next up, I got the Jabra Extreme 2. This is a very good one. It's a little bit louder, a um, little bit cleaner sounding. The range on the range on all these were, were fairly good. Um, I can go. I mean, even with these here, I can go in the next room 
and still be connected um, not much further than the next room you're probably looking like maybe 15 feet between with the wall between me and the and this piece other than that it'd be about maybe 20 feet this one here is about the same thing now this right here has the uh, earpiece clip same thing as the 15 the Jabra 15 but it pops off now if you notice I heated it up and bent it so that it allowed it to fit tighter in my ear so that I had like it was nice and tight in my ear so I wouldn't have any gap not not, not so tight where it hurt these right here are pretty soft so it, and they're they're rounded so it didn't uh, put pressure on one particular spot in my ear now using a Bluetooth a lot of you say oh, I hate Bluetooth pieces they hurt my ear I won't lie they did it took me about a month to get used to these um, after about a month I have my ear and then I forget that they're even there so and now I have them 10 15 years later and again I'll be walking around with the nine real lights in my ear and then and all of a sudden go and scratch my ear or something like that and feel it so um, good piece uh, the only thing that went bad on it was the microphone started going bad and then the battery life started going bad this lasted me about a year um, until I got another one and I actually ended up getting one just like it um, and I had that one also for about uh, for about a year and I drop these things all the time um, they bang around my pocket a lot so on and so forth but yeah these these were abused they weren't used lightly so when I went from that I decided to upgrade because I'll be in my office doing a lot of uh, uh, stuff in my office I like listening to music and uh, so I wanted to listen to clean music so I went down and got myself a uh, treat myself to a Bose earpiece I didn't like the way it fit I mean it sounded good it worked good but it just didn't fit my ear right so I decided to send it back and get myself one that fit better in my ear and when I did that I got the Sennheiser this is Sennheiser Presence very nice unit very loud um, very clean I mean it was just sounds just as good as the Bose uh, earpiece the only thing I it's, it has a little bit of weight to it too which did take a little more getting used to because these ones here are extremely light they're like nothing this right here is probably twice as heavy as the other ones a um, lot of is the fact that this sliding piece here that's on and off that right there is uh, I don't know if that's aluminum or what but it feels like aluminum it's it's been dropped a lot and it's still it's still shiny so my guess is must be aluminum coating with plastic on the inside or something I don't know anyhow um, the battery and life on it was awesome um, the only thing I did not like about this was you see this hole right here this hole right here is where the ear the wraparound piece goes in so it slides in the hole comes up comes up here and then loops around well if you look at the hole and you look at this you see that it left it doesn't go in the ear very much because you know the regular canal is like probably this far away uh, from being sealed up so I didn't like it I can't I had too much interference too much sound getting through when it was loud so it was too much interference so I would use this I'd take the pin out I really liked it so I didn't want to um, send it back in but this right here locked in my ear pretty well until you know it get hot and I get sweaty and this right here we get softer because the the heat and so on and so forth and then it just fall out well that led to the problem that I didn't like so to turn this thing on and off you have to slide this thing in and out however if you barely bump it like so much like that it, it shuts it off so if it falls out of your ear and you catch it you bump it because it falls facing down you know falls this way towards the ground it bumps that and you end up losing your call or 
if it's in your ear and you go and you adjust it and you accidentally bump that I mean, it's not really soft but it's it's enough to where it doesn't take much to just bump it um, it has like a slight locking feel to it and when it locks in place and you kind of see the uh, I don't know if you can see that but you kind of see the size to kind of snap in place when it comes in anyways the uh, that when you go up to adjust it or something like that sometimes you'll bump it and it'll turn it off and you just lost your call so I ended up once the battery on this thing started going down battery life on it started going down I decided to get to upgrade so I wanted I said okay you know what I'm just gonna get, make sure that whatever I get is gonna be a wraparound so for a good wraparound I looked and looked and looked I could not really find anything I've got a bunch of them I was just gonna go back to the extreme too <clears throat> but I wanted something better some with more battery life so I went with the uh, Plantronics uh, legend the Plantronics legend is a really good piece um, it, uh, it has a boom on it which makes me look like an operator some people don't like it because of that it makes me look like a you know operator walk around with the my earpiece and not plugged into the actual phone line but the thing I liked about the boom which is really convenient because I'm always walking around talking to my phone a lot of people think I'm talking to them they go oh what's that sir uh, or they'll call my name and oh what's that and then I have to point to my ear and uh, let them know that I'm on my Bluetooth well this here they I'm actually see the boom they go oh you're on your you're on your phone and then I just nod or whatever anyways it lets them know that I do have an earpiece in my ear. Where the other ones, these right here, don't stand out as much. But another thing is I don't have to talk as loud because it's closer to my mouth. Now it's not so sensitive that, that it it just sounds like a bunch of background noise. But I will tell you this, it is sensitive enough to where if you're talking to somebody and you have a radio on like barely up or something like that in the background, whoever you're talking to will be able to hear what's going on in that mic again it doesn't pick up like a bunch of you know like crazy machinery whatever well it does pick it up but it doesn't like drown you out but it is very sensitive will pick up other voices in the room or what have you and and uh, they hear it as loud on their end so sometimes it, it, it disturbs them but now for the parts I didn't like about this I, the uh, only way to charge it is to use the handy dandy carrying case that's the only way to charge it, it has a contact right here at the bottom that you uh, have to make sure that these contacts right here come in contact with and you have to put it in that's how you charge it now to, there's a battery inside this case to charge the battery in this it'll you know, charge it a few times until the battery goes dead. Um, to charge the battery here, just take some micro USB. That's it. A very durable piece. I've again, I've dropped a lot, taking it in and out of my pocket. You know, fold constantly folding it up, charging it. You know, and twisting it, so forth like this, and it still works great. Um, this is ambidextrous one. It can go in your right ear, or you can flip it around now it goes in your left ear uh, very nice features easy to use very very easy to use if somebody's calling you it tells you who's calling if you want to call somebody you just uh, has commands on it where you just push the button right here in the back and you say you know call my wife or so on and so forth and call Timmy's work or whatever and it will call their their number um, very nice very nice piece so I had this one for a little over a year probably 11 12 or probably 13 14 months um, we're very good battery life on it started going down and then the microphone on it started getting a little uh, scratchy <coughs> so that's when I decided to upgrade but uh, oh Another thing I didn't like about it is because you can only charge in the base. If you use it at the office, you use it at home, and you use it in your car, you have to have one of these cases with you in each one. 
otherwise you have to carry the case with you all the time <clears throat> so which made it kind of cumbersome and expensive these right here are about 40 bucks a piece for these charging cases um, I think about 40 50 bucks somewhere around there so anyways it's a nice unit just didn't like the fact that you can't charge it unless it's inside the case so when I went to upgrade I think uh, Plantronics kind of heard people crying about that so <clears throat> about not being able to charge it without a it's case so they came out with the Voyager Legend 5200 this one right here has a plug on the bottom for micro USB it also has a contact right there so I was like cool I can use the same cases that I already have well wrong because if you look at them if you look at them you will see that they do have a different shape right down here on the bottom this one over here is flat this one over here has a rounded shape to it so that's where the contacts are as you can see here um, when you put this one in the <coughs> in this case here it doesn't hit the contacts so I didn't care too much because it still took the USB but I just wasn't able to uh, travel and use the battery inside the case but I got over it real quick so this one here I had for almost a year and a half worked really really great the only problem with it was um, the microphone went bad and then the the battery life was still pretty good the battery life on this thing is still pretty good <clears throat> still get probably at least five six hours on a, on a charge the uh, also what's different about this one than the uh, Voyager legend is this has like a red accent to it which is kind of nice kind of fancier the other the older version was <clears throat> uh, straight one color so kind of kind of plain but very nice, very nice unit. I liked it so much that well, when I went out looking for other ones, I couldn't find anything that I liked again. And I went probably through uh, probably three other ones before I decided to go back to this one, which I now got this one here. It's still the same model number, it's the Voyager Legend 5200. I got it with the case so I can now have a case with it again this case however I can put it inside to charge it like this or it has a stand on the outside that I can pop it in now there's a magnet on here that that pops in place and just holds it in place you know you can see it's not falling out uh, hold it pretty good <clears throat> again it has a USB port plug right here on the bottom yeah, this also has well. There's a dust co dust cover on right now, but it has a uh, the micro USB charging port right here on the bottom. Uh, also, another different feature on this one versus the other one is this one here has I got the one that has a USB um, PC plug. So this one here is basically they call it the PC version comes with a little chip USB chip that you plug into the USB port on a computer that allows you to use this when you're on your computer it plays sounds from your computer on through this <clears throat> which is nice for nowadays especially you got your your zoom meetings and whatever you're doing on the computer calls some calls now are going through the computer and so on and so forth that can be using this the chip automatically comes paired to this unit um, so if you lose that chip, I don't know how you're going to get another chip and pair it. Because there's no way of, that I know that you can do it. Um, this will still pair to two separate other devices. <clears throat> so you can have two phones and the PC paired to this. Here's the downfall. You cannot have both phones and the PC paired at the same exact time. In other words, you cannot it be it, you cannot have them connected at the same time. So, um, if you want, if you're on a uh, have it hooked up to your PC, you're in a meeting 
or whatever, or not even in a meeting. You don't have it can be off. You just be doing typing on the email. It will still be connected to the PC and one other phone. Whichever phone it connects to first, that's going to be the phone it's going to use. It will not connect to another phone at the same time. So if you want to be able to use it on your other phone, you have to turn the one phone off and then pair it that way um, to the. Once you turn one phone, the, the Bluetooth on the other phone off, it'll pair to the other phone. So that's the downfall. It's not that big of a deal. Um, a lot of computers, when you plug it in, you can go to the, the volume control and you can swap between the computer speaker and the uh, uh, Bluetooth piece here, the, the Voyager Legend. So, um, this has been a really good piece. This is last to me. I've had this for about six months now. I still use it every day. Constantly use it. It's loud. It's clean. Good sound. Um, fits far enough in my ear to where I can hear. Has a good seal around here also. Um, so I don't have a habit shoved into my ear like the other ones because, like I said, it comes with different size uh, ear cushions to fit in different ear channels. Very nice unit. Um, highly recommend it but uh, that uh, pretty much concludes my review on my Bluetooth earpieces if you uh, want to see some more of my reviews when they come out please subscribe to my channel um, or any of my other projects I have how to's if you don't like my reviews of my channel subscribe anyways just so you can make fun of me um, that concludes my my video this day and we'll see you guys later bye bye